everybody, JCB here at The Awesomest, and you're watching an Awesomest Quickie. So during all the hubbub about New Horizons taking awe-inspiring photos of Pluto, click here for that video, and NASA discovering a new planet optimistically dubbed Earth 2.0, click here for that video, another little news story was sort of buried and forgotten, a story that hits a lot closer to home. We have a new photo of the Earth, and it's fan-freaking-tastic. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! For those of you who have watched my Awesomest Explains video about the two Earth hoax, click here for that video, you already know why this is important. Basically, we haven't had a new, complete, all-encompassing photo of the entire Earth since 1972. In my Awesomest Explains video, I said, You see, while NASA has cameras that can take highly detailed images of the Earth, none of them are currently the right distance away to capture the entire Earth in one image. So instead of one complete picture, they take thousands of closer images with high levels of detail and then use computer software to stitch the images together, giving an overall view of the planet. The image on the right was taken over the course of one day and used swaths of the Earth's surface to comprise the photo. So this new photo taken by the Deep Space Climate Observatory satellite from one million miles away, yes I said one million miles, the L1 Lagrange point to be exact, gives us a nice clear and gorgeous view of our planet. So how does it compare with the original 1972 blue marble? Not bad. Everything looks pretty much the same. Now again, I'm not saying this debunks global warming. I'm not saying mankind is unable to affect our planet in a negative way. I'm just saying it's not visibly noticeable from space. Yet. And that's kind of the point. This whole global selfie might change. This satellite was sent out to the L1 Lagrange point for the sole purpose of analyzing global climate patterns and helping us understand climate change over the next five years. If major glaciers melt away or break off into the ocean, that will quite literally change the landscape of this global selfie. But in the meantime, keep your eyes open for new versions of that old hoax. As we now have a new photo that really was 40 years in the making, I expect the Photoshop versions to start surfacing before too long. Hopefully I'm wrong and we can all just bask in the beauty of our vibrant blue planet together, but feel free to share this video in response to any photoshops you may come across. Anyway, this has been an Awesomest Quickie. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Also be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on this channel, and until next time, keep being awesome.